Hey, hi everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about that how we can send mail to the user using the node mailer in our project. Well, it is very easy to implement and I will explain you everything in detail. So watch it till the end, right? Let's start. So for that purpose, I first came on the documentation of the node mailer. You can simply write the node mailer on the Google and you will redirect it to this particular website, right? After that, uh, there is a process in which first step is we need to install the node mailer. So let's just copy it down and go to the Visual Studio code. So now we are on our terminal. After that, we need to write, that means I have to come to this particular server, right? So I will write CD server. Okay, now I'm on our server. After that, what we need to write is that npm install node mailer, right? This now press enter. And it will take some time after that your node mailer will get installed. So let's go to the server and check the package.json file. So here you can see I got the node mailer here, right? So yeah, after that, what we need to do. Okay, let me first explain you something that I'm going to implement this node mailer example by with this particular register controller. So I hope that you already know that how we create this type of controllers, right? Basically, register is the first controller we learn as a backend. That's why I'm using it, right? So whenever a user will register on the website, I want to send a mail to its particular email ID where it will say that welcome to the, my particular company. You have your account with this particular email ID has, part, has successfully registered. This is what I want, right? So let's start the process. So we need to go to the node mailer documentation, right? So let's go downward and here you can see. Uh, here's the example code is written, right? So we simply need to copy this code up to here. So let's copy it down and go to our Visual Studio code. And here, what I will do is basically I will create a file uh, which is named as nodemiller.js. So I'm creating it inside this config folder. So nodemiller.js, press enter. Inside of this, I'm going to copy paste that particular code like this. Got it? Right now, after pasting this code, basically we have created our node mailer file, right? Now we need to set up the SMTP, which is simple mail transfer protocol, right? It is very important. So for that purpose, what I'm going to use is this Brevo, B-R-E-V-O. Simply go to this particular website, create your account. And after that, uh, means it will ask you about some company name and other. Just fill any random thing that you want, right? We need to learn it for our knowledge purpose. Or if you are you actually having some company, you can name it also, right? So I have created this Piyush Gupta like this. After that, yes, yeah, simply you need to go here, SMTP and API. Go here and you will see all the API key, login port and all the details are successfully given here, right? So let's copy these details to our env file, right? So let's create something first here. So I'm on the env file and here what we will write smtp, right? smtp, smtp underscore user equals to, now inside of this, we will write the login ID, right? So we will write the login ID, this you can see. So let's copy it down and paste it here like this. And after pasting, now let's create the SMTP password now. So SMTP underscore pass, right? Now inside of this, what we will write? We will write this, this particular password. Let's copy it down and paste it here. After pasting it here, uh, let's create the sender email, right? So write the sender email. So sender email will be your original email, right? So let me create that. Like this. So this is the original email. So like this, we have actually created our env part, right? Now, inside this nodemailer.js, here you can see I'm having this host, right? So what will be this host? So if you go here, you can see this particular smtp.relay.brevo.com. Just copy it. Basically, this is the SMTP server. So that is the host. So let's just paste it here like this. The port number is 587. Yes, it is written the same. After that, we are having a secure as false, right? 
and auth in the user in the user basically we will write the actual user id right so let's just write that so we will do what we will simply remove this detail and we will write process dot env dot whatever the username that you had set right so smtp underscore user that we had said uh, so let's write it here after that for this password if you remember we have done the same right smtp underscore pass we had written so let's just copy it and again paste it here and here i'll write the pass like this right so this is the detail that we need to fill now the main work of creating your node miller.js file is now done now we are going to the controller part right so if you can see what i have done let me explain you truly right so that no sort of confusion will create uh, in the register controller what i had done is basically i have taken the name email and password right from the user after that i had checked that whether these details are present or not in case of not present it is sending a message that is not like the missing details right after that i'm having a try catch block inside this first of all i'm searching that whether the mail is the only mail right if it is not then it will show an error otherwise i am converting this particular mail using the bcrypt.hash then i am saving all this detail into my database right after that i am creating a token and sending that particular token into the cookies right this is all i have done till now now let's move forward and send the welcome message like create the code for by which we can send the welcome message so let's write send welcome message or email right so yeah now let's start the process so first of all what we need to do is that we need to create the mail options right so const mail option it is variable where like you can create the whatever name you want right after that create an object inside of this we will first write the from so from means like who is sending this particular email so that is uh, coming from your side right so i will write my particular email id so i will write my email right like this after that after writing your email id what you need to write is that whom you want to send so if you can see here like uh, this is for the this is like this particular code inside the register controller right so i'm having this email from the user particular so i'm going to use that email so i'm writing this email here right so what it is doing that what whoever the person or the user is actually coming and registering on my website in that particular case i'm going to send the mail to that particular email with which he or she has registered right now after that let's come forward and now we write the subject the subject now which subject like what you want to send basically that contains a subject right so i will write welcome to my company i want to send that right after that the text that you want to send so inside the text i'm going to use the back tick here and uh, we'll say welcome to my website you are successfully registered with your email email and let me send that particular email for that i'm going to use template literal and simply write email here right so that email will be sent right now we have created this mail options right after that what we will write we will write the uh, basically we are going to send right so for sending mail uh, we had created a transporter here that we are going to use so simply just write await transporter transporter okay it is not showing me here let me see okay we have not exported that right so yeah we will write export default and transport right now i think it will show me so transporter okay, let me write it down again yeah it is not showing me so you can see i am getting this import transporter from the path of that particular file so after that write dot 
send mail and put the bracket here and inside of this we will send this particular mail options right mail options like this so yeah this is the complete process now let's send this particular mail to the user and see that whether the process that we have learned is actually working or not right so let's go to the postman so we are on our postman right and i have written the route here on the top and then this post method right now inside of this i'm going to send the data uh, basically what data is required in this particular register is that name email and password so that i'm going to send right so let me write it down here that is sorry the name is let's say ramendra put the comma after that the email the email as ramendra at the rate 04 at the rate gmail.com and after that let me send the password also right because that is also required here yeah password so let me write some password and let me take it one two three four five six only right so yeah we have successfully uh, written the raw data now let's run it and see that whether this thing is working or not right so i am going to click on this send and it is sending the request there is some error okay so the error is basically the const node mailer equals to require node mailer that we have written in here but what i am done basically in my package.json is that i have made it module right I have made the type as module that's why uh, this will not work I need to import it right so I will write import if you if you are also facing this error right so you can change otherwise there was no need of that or uh, simply write import node mailer from node mailer like this and yes now it will work fine let's save it and go again to the postman and send the request again and yes the success is true so finally the account is created now let's see that whether we received the mail or not so you can see this is the email account of the ramendra right and here on the top with the username Gupta 21506 which i created on the bravo right uh, here you can see I got the mail that is which is welcome to my website you are successfully registered with your email id whatever the email id that we registered right so this is how we use the node mailer and we implement that in our project simply we need to just copy this particular code and create a SMTP protocol and from there take all the data and just paste it here after that in the controller part you just need to write something like this right you can see you just need to create the mail options where you need to write the subject whatever the subject that you want to send right as you can see here the subject is welcome to my company right this was the subject and the text that you want to send right this is what you need to write and after that just put transporter dot send mail it will transport your mail to the particular email id right to which you want to send right so this is all information about the node mailer from my side. Thank you so much for watching. We will meet in the next video very soon. Till then, goodbye.